the dancing center on NTV, SMS the name of the show. Welcome to this side of the broadcast once again from the county of Tana River County, number four. And for what we've been talking about, the conversation, the interview with the governor who's, uh, who's, who's here and hosting us. Thank you for, very, for hosting us, uh, you know, for giving us opportunity to come in and understand. I'm sorry, I'm still in Lamu, you know, but <laughs> Tana River. And um, governor, this county has so much history. So it's so rich in, uh, you know, historical um, elements in it. What is being done to ensure that the world gets to know about this? Because it seems like it's, it's a sleeping giant. Yes, we, we know that uh, there's a lot that has not been said and has not been displayed to the world about Sana. Um, there's a lot of uh, history uh, that translates into now uh, the heritage that we can talk about. Uh, there's so much about the culture, there's so much about uh, uh, heritage history that relates to the scramble for Africa, uh, that relates to the Portuguese, that relates to the Arabs, relates to the French, relates to uh, the Italians, relates to the British, um, a lot of missionary history that relates to the New Christian Mission and the early British churches. Uh, so you talk about the history of the scramble for Africa, the history of um, uh, colonization, the history of religion, both Arab and Christian, uh, and, 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 and all those, uh, the history of war. Uh, uh, then you find that there's so much talk about it, Tana, even about the history of independence of the country, um, which we, some of the histories would claim, would say that starts from here. The independence, for example, the national anthem, uh, all those uh, have, a, have, have some connection with Tana. So, so what specific things are being done to ensure that, uh, I mean, for you who's, you know, the, the person who, you know, who lives here, who, this is your county, it's, it's pretty much automatic information. But for the weight of valued carries, what specific things are being done to we, ensure we have, that? We, we, we have tried to, 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 to capture, to try to document uh, much of this history. Uh, and we have tried to talk to national government. We have gone to do presentations. We have uh, done presentations to uh, national, uh, national museums. Uh, to the ministry, uh, but again, we also have started uh, the process of designing some of the projects that we think can be able to help in in a, in a, in, a, in developing uh, uh, the, the, the 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 story with projects that then can be able to add value to the sector of tourism. So we already have designs, we have documentation. Uh, we also have uh, some uh, people who have done magazines, which there's a magazine called the Tana Heritage Magazine, which is going, I think it is on, on its way to, to here today, and tomorrow we'll have uh, uh, some advantage, the sub, some, some, uh, we, we can have the chance of having it in circulation. So we are working together with other partners, the Portuguese, the EU, to try and now map them out, document them, the histories and together with national museums, and then uh, promote them to uh, to add value to uh, the economy of this county. Okay, and you've got some areas, for instance, like Kipini, which is yes. very big on this kind of things. Yes, but you'll find we don't have, say, um, a significant, let me put it that way, hotel there, yes. for instance, which yes. you'd expect with the tourism you you'd hope to attract. So is it that there is a disconnect between? the promise and the investors, or what is the challenge? I think the, the some few people have tried to do some hotels there, but they are also affected by other factors. Uh, they lost the hotels to erosion, uh, but there has never been a very um, 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 uh, good investments in this region because of the challenges probably of people imagining that it is too insecure, uh, road networks were just better the other day. 
uh, electricity has just come some few years ago. Uh, so much of the infrastructure that will enable people to invest has never been there in this, in this county. And that's why we, 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 with these conferences, we do, with the conferences that we are doing now, we are trying now to speak aloud on the opportunities that we have here in tourism and the rest of the things in agriculture and the rest uh, for now for us to attract tourists to come here and those investors that we are looking forward to. I believe after this function, especially after the other function of the cultural festival we had some few years back, uh, the Agri, Agri Inputs uh, Conference, uh, now this one, I think we are, we are now starting to uh, speak aloud on what we have in Tana for, to, 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 to be able to attract investors to come, to come and, and, and take advantage of the opportunities we have. Okay, so for you, just for the, you know, bring some closure to this part of the conversation. Yes. What kind of timeline are you giving yourself to kind of see your county, if I may say, catch up? Because in many ways you find um, it has promise, but which has not yet been tapped. When you compare to one, the overall country, the other yes, counties, yes, very and true. two in the region, the coastal region. Very true. So are you giving yourself a kind of timeline where you'll feel that um, you have actually made milestones? It, it's difficult to give a timeline because uh, it depends on how uh, investors come. Um, but for example, we already have a few hotels in Tana here, in Hola here, which were never there before. We have Zuri, we have Tana Grand, we have Tana Palace. We have some few of them in, in here. And uh, the reason why we are speaking aloud about the potential is to attract them to come. Uh, we want them to see uh, 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 what is there that they can be able to take advantage of. Uh, but what I can say is that we have already, uh, we are in talks with so many of them. They have come in, uh, we, they, they have shown interest uh, to invest here, especially after now seeing the Lamu port, the Lapset corridor, the road network that has been done very well from Lamu, from Mombasa. Uh, we, are the, we, we are having so many of them coming by. I, we, hope, we hope that in a few years, this place will become one of the best tourists. The, 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 the focus on tourism seems to be shifting slightly from Mombasa, from Kilifi, now to Tana and Lamu. Of course, Lamu is already there. Mm. Uh, and Tana now being closed with this kind of expose of, 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 of the potential, uh, very few years to come, we'll have so many. In fact, I want to invite them to come as early as possible. Mm. We have enough land for them to, uh, to, to, to be able to invest in, in that sector, in tourism and in everything. Okay. Yes. Um, Governor Dado Godana, you are in your second term. Yes. Yes. Um, and by the time you're having the handover, uh, you know, rather crossover, let me put it crossover from the previous term to this one, yes. as you are, you know, speaking and one of the places you're quoted as saying that you have learned from some of your uh, mistakes and things that you'd want to build on, what would you tell the people of this county that you're going to guarantee them, um, now that it's not campaign and now that uh, you know the, the, you still know the reality on the ground, what's going to be different? Of course, they know very well the difference from the time I came in um, as MP first. Uh, most of the projects and the, 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 that you see around here from electricity, th this, this was one of the darkest towns around here. Garissa had electricity, Lamu, the rest of them. There was no electricity here. All these programs on electricity, the good roads you see, um, and the rest of the opening up of the whole municipality, most of them I can claim ownership to. Um, and we have not lost tempo from the time we started. Uh, it has been program after program after program after program. Uh, and now we have gone to major programs, uh, moving into urbanization, uh, moving into um, uh, now the, 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 the small cities that are coming up, opening up this tunnel for investments and whatever, um, dealing with each of the sectors of the economy. For sure, I can tell you, in a few years to come, this town will be a different place. Hola is already a different place. Those who came here 10 years ago, or uh, uh, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, like uh, governor of Lamu, 
was governor of Lamu was here 30 years ago. Uh, people like uh, Mungaro are here some few years ago. Um, a governor of Kilifi was here also some few years ago. Some of the MPs have been here some few years ago, uh, 15, whatever years ago. They, 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 are, they confess that really, Hola Town is different. And Tana River County is, is also very different. Uh, that we, are, we have made a lot of progress. And from what they see, uh, the activities that we are doing here, the whole of this Tana is going to transform. Our dream for transformation is, is not a joke. And, and we are not going to relent about it. Okay, so what will you do different in this second term that you did not do in the first term? I can say the first term we laid a foundation for the rest of the transformative programs, uh, like now urbanization, like now the planning of uh, uh, the, the villages, the, the, the mapping and the, the identification of uh, this, the, those heritage sites and the designs. Um, this time is about implementation. Uh, we're going to implement um, uh, most of the projects within the clusters to make the clusters now alive and also to, to, to do the project. For example, we have here now the designs for the Garden of Anthem, uh, moving from the story of the National Anthem to an actual infrastructure about it. Uh, apart from the Garden of Anthem, we have the Tower of Anthem. We are now through with the designs and everything, costings and everything. Uh, apart from that, we have the pillar of independence. Uh, moving again from the history about the, the 11 that died, the prisoners that died of Hola prison, now to actual uh, infrastructure about it, the, the pillar of independence. We have the mausoleum there. We have, again, the, the, the building for the, the, the office of, of, of the, the, the DC there. The, the one who used to collect the, the taxes, the rupee. Mm. So, so, so we have that. We have other sites uh, all over the place. We, have, uh, we are developing other things in, uh, in Ozi, in, in Garsen. Um, so we have, we have the actual projects now coming up at this time. Of course, you know, again, the, the municipality is not complete. The special plan for it is going on. We are doing the county headquarters up there. You saw it. I think uh, from somewhere, you could see it from there. We are pushing for national government now to help us to open up the road from Hola to Nairobi. It's the shortest road. We also have plans and we have agreed with national government for the airstrip uh, to be done at Daba. So we'll have a, an airstrip very soon and the road will be done to Tarmac because it's already opened up. It is in use. Uh, so with those infrastructure programs that we have, we believe, we believe by the time I'm leaving uh, uh, this second term, Tana will be a destination for investments, a destination for tourists, a destination for so many other things. Okay, uh, and we yes. will definitely take you up on that. And yes. um, it's, you know, it's only befitting to talk about climate change yes. because it's really affected even your county. Yes, very much. So um, what are the specific plans that you have, or, you know, that you're already implementing um, to try and you know, mitigate the impact of climate change on, on your people? Yes, uh, one of the things that we are doing is actually the urban agenda. The urban agenda is bigger. It involves um, the addressing the challenges that affected the people in relation to uh, the climate change circumstances. Uh, the issue of disasters, floods and, and, uh, and droughts. Um, and also conflicts. Mm. Uh, so within it, the idea is just to try and, and plan uh, resilient uh, uh, settlements for the people, um, uh, moving them from lower and also consolidating them into, putting them into now small cities and small towns where they are more cohesive, they are more secure, services are easy to, 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 to deliver to them. Um, and so we have the program we call the Village Cluster Program. Within the urban agenda, we have the Village Cluster Program. Uh, while we are addressing the planning of small towns and upgrading them to municipalities, others to townships, we also have now these other uh, cities that we are developing. Out of the scoping 
you, 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 we, 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 you, you, what comes out is that there are towns that will emerge automatically as uh, tourist uh, uh, centers, others administrative centers, others commercial, others industrial, others that kind of thing. Mm. Um, so, so, but the whole, all those programs are actually meant to, uh, to address the whole challenge of, of, of the climate circumstances. Um, so, uh, again, then aligning all the sectors to, to, to the clusters where agriculture, of course I said agriculture, livestock, the rest of the development uh, programs mm. are aligned to the, to, the, to the village cluster program. Um, so we are, we, are, we, are, we are doing all that and we believe we are on the right path. We have already implemented the, um, the planning, the special planning for 14 of those uh, cluster villages. We have put in there some uh, water, we have put some in some electricity, in some we have done good roads, in some we have just opened roads. So we are trying to put the services already okay. uh, as people are now moving in. We have already um, uh, uh, given uh, some of the beneficiaries uh, uh, some, some weeks ago, 3,500 letters of allotments uh, which we are also processing to titles. Um, and people have already bought into this. They have learned from the past and they are now ready to move to these clusters. They are already, some of them have moved already to these clusters. Okay. So the, the cluster, the village cluster program is already shaping up. Okay. Already and and, and up. What, what budget are you working with to, in terms of the climate change you know, mitigation uh, strategies? We have uh, the, the DRM uh, uh, fund, we have uh, the emergency fund, we also have the, 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 the Flocker fund. We have 138 million for Flocker, 132 million for DRM, and uh, another 132 million for the emergency fund. All these funds are meant now to implement some of the programs that are allowed under those specific legislations that look at re response, uh, mitigation, and, uh, and the rest of them. So that's about almost 400 million shillings? About 400 million shillings. That, okay. that, that's, that's from us. Of course, this is meant to be matching f funding. Uh, we, 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 put the, uh, we put ours, then we get from, from the, the, the grants. Okay. So for example, DRM, we have put there 132 one million. And then we have 138. Uh, from 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 now the the, the 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 grant, so that's already how much. You said you have the one thirty two plus one thirty eight. That becomes um, that seventy. That's two seventy. Two two seventy. Two seventy. Yeah, uh, for emergency, uh, for emergency is just us, and then for 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 Flocka is the same. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The same. Um and and. Is this only this budget is only for this financial year, or is it a, 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 a total? You know, a, a, a the one thirty-eight, the one thirty-eight million that is coming from the flock. I think is a, for for four years. Okay. For four years, that means then, then in one year, you have how much? One thirty-two divided by four. That's uh, some forty something million. Okay. Yeah, so one forty something million plus the one thirty-two is is now one financial year. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, and um, as we close, um, and then we can invite our dancers to come and um, yes. close this show yes, yes, properly. Yes. Um, tomorrow you're expecting to host um, Raila Odinga here. Yes. Um, as part of you know the conference that's closing. Yes. And you're a great supporter of 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 um, mm. the Azimio leader. Yes. Um, What's your comment or your feeling about the general, uh, cl uh, you know, uh, climate in terms of the political climate in the country? Um, you know, we've been hearing about the Mandamano and the likes. What, what, what's your position on that? Uh, Kenyan politics, from the way I look at it, is dynamic, um, um, changing uh, shape and patterns every day. Um, uh, but uh, from what I know, is is part of the democratic space. Uh, so the law requires that uh, the county governments 
work with the national government. Uh, so now we have a president, uh, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, much as... William Ruto. William Ruto. Mm. Yeah, William Ruto. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We are, it's everyone so, is transitioning. So, yeah, yeah. Everyone is transitioning. So, so William Ruto is the president. Mm. Uh, uh, so as governors, irrespective of party, uh, are supposed to work with the national government. Uh, so there's the ODM here, there will be another party as well. It's a democratic space. So William Samuel Ruto is our president. But my party leader, uh, that's where we have come from, <laughs> is Raila Ahmad Odinga. Yes. So in this function, it is not that we didn't uh, uh, invite the, the president was supposed to come and uh, open the function. Okay. And then in the arrangements also, it was it is it is quite in order that we also give space to our party leader to come and close. Unfortunately, the president did not come, uh, but uh, the party leader already had already uh, scheduled himself to come. So we have him tomorrow. Uh, and what's your relationship with the, with the president right now? Very good. We say the president, you don't understand but the relationship between me and the president. is very good. We were together in the, in the 10th parliament, with mm -hmm. the president and the At that time, we were together with the, in, in, in ODM. You all ODM at that we point. We all ODM at that point. Uh, then later on, they were with Uhuru. But again, our relationship was very good with Uhuru and him together. Um, so we worked very well with the, with the, 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 the president all through. And at some point, the, the president actually, I don't want to say so much, <laughs> he, he supported my, 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 a bit of my campaign in 2017 mm -hmm. for me to become governor. Uh, so we, have, we are good friends, very good friends, <laughs> very good friends. Doesn't that give you a bit of a conflict of, no, I don't of, think of allegiance? No, 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 there's no conflict of allegiance. Uh, uh, they're all my friends, by the way. I don't want to talk so much about <laughs> it, but we are all my good friends. Yeah. We chat, President. We were chatting even during the voting. Uh -huh. We were chatting and we were saying we are taking this. And we say, oh, no, we are we are taking it. So <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how we. So we, you, a, us as politicians live. Exactly. Do you feel that politicians at times, in terms of perception, yes, you misguide Kenyans in the sense that you guys are best of friends. Yes. But the thing that will be said at podiums and platforms. Yes. yes begin to you know become polarizing don't you feel that you guys kind of give us a role here? not really not really is 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 how mature our politics has come um and look at it like this here in Tana, for example, and it's same it's the same picture all over we com we, we competed i i was i was competing and my team had juma Wario inside dado's team had mgatana uh, there mm. now mgatana is my senator and he's uda i am odm but we're working together in the county Hmm. So it's fair competition. Whoever wins, he has won. Whoever loses, he has lost. Okay. Unless there's somebody has a grievance. But generally, that's how politicians relate. You find us somewhere there, you find us taking tea together and discussing issues. Uh, we differ in opinion, but we travel the same journey. So you agree with um, the um, senator of Wazingishu, who was the governor, that usiweke siyasa kwa lungs. Kwa, eh, usiweke siyasa kwa lungs, because utapasuka lungs. <laughs> utapasuka lungs. <laughs> we compete, campaign, talk about the good idea somebody has. I say my idea, somebody says his idea. Mm. Uh, uh, we, 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 we agree to agree, we, we, we disagree. Mm. But at the end of the day, the voter solves the problem between the two uh, uh, viewpoints okay and uh, whoever gets it he has one we serve the same people okay uh, thank you very much and you've had it um usiweke siyasa kwa langs utapasuka uh, usiweke siyasa kwa langs <laughs> I, I don't put there's somebody somewhere i think he has still uh, something in the lungs mwambieni mm. vizuri <laughs> <laughs> thank you and very much for, kwa langs. Thanks for hosting us and for speaking to us that yeah. is mm. um the governor of tana river county that's retired major dado godana who's been our host and we'll still be here for the next mm. two days we'll still be having stories from tana river like some of which we've touched on here uh, from Kipini and the likes, uh, which are, you know, stories that are definitely worth watching, worth waiting for. Some very interesting things, a lot of uh, weight in terms of culture and tradition. So at this point, as we close our bulletin for our first bulletin on this is, uh, you know, China edition. Uh, we are going to invite the dancers here. These are Pokomo dancers. Today we are dressed within the Pokomo theme and tomorrow we'll be having the Orma and we shall have the diversity of this county shown. Mm. So, karibuni sana. 
Yes, good, beautiful. Yes, thank you very much. As we close, my name is Dan Mwangi. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Have yourselves a great night. Good. Thank you very much. Let's just this train this is a gala night. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Governor, you dance with your, with your gentleman. Oh, how are you? How are you? Yeah. How are you? Thank you. Ah, uh, sasa leo si fimbo ni hii. Eh? Leo hii. Pesi. 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 Iki awe ni. Iki awe ni. Iki awe ni. Mama njo. Mama njo. Mamanzo, Mamanzo, Samaduga, Samaguaza, Mamma, Mamma, come home, my name's Jure, Mamma, Mamma, come home, my name's Jure, Mamma, 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 Kaluma luma mane no soya joa kope shabaka peke luwa. Kaluma luma mane no soya joa kope shabaka peke luwa. Kaluma luma mane no soya joa kope shabaka peke luwa. Kaluma luma mane no soya joa kope shabaka peke luwa. Kaluma luma Amar se tu katunde mawa, amar se tu Ewana ano? Wangora. Hiriba jina kama nyano. Hiriba kaka kama nyano. Baka ata kama nyano. Hiriba governor kama nyano. Hata yake the governor tena riva kama nyano. Haya. Hmm. 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 Chanam chamo se, chanam chamo se, waru kuwa dura wanu bachano. 